This is a part five house where it allows to use spray foam. And because we spray from the roof, because we address all the air tightness and all the leaks at the framing stage, this is the stage that we can apply aero barrier. Very unique situation, but at this stage, we can airtight the house before the poly and the bat insulation goes in. Now the advantage of this is, should the poly be damaged at any time during the installation of the drywall, it won't matter as much because air is not gonna escape through the framing. It won't matter as much if the poly is damaged because there's nowhere for that air to travel to. Now I'm always being asked, when is the best time to apply air bearer? Now, every house is unique in the way they're built. There's passive houses, high performance houses, standard part nine houses, there's spray foam houses, and different municipalities have different requirements. So let's kind of narrow down the best time for your job. For builders using spray foam on a flat roof, this one's for you. And you've already passed all your rough inspections, and you're still at framing stage, this is the best time for you to apply air bear. Because you can apply air bear at this stage, you're addressing all the air leaks at the framing level. That means if you were to poly and bat the walls and the poly gets damaged for any reason, the air moving into the walls will not have any chance to escape the outside, nor the roof because the roof's been spray foamed. So by trapping the air inside here, you can assure that there's no flow of air in or out of the wall assemblies. And by addressing it now, you can actually see where the ceiling can accumulate. You can see where in the future builds where you can address these air leaks ahead of time, even before aero bearer. But this will be the best time, the best scenario to apply aero bearer. Let's say you have a flat roof and you're building without using spray foam. You can also apply aero bearer. How will we stop the airflow from moving up? Well, it's very easy. Keep the walls bare. Do all your membranes on the outside as required. On your ceilings, insulate poly and drywall. Therefore, you give me a lid on the entire upper floor, stopping any kind of airflow from flying into the vented roof assemblies. And therefore, you can still apply aero bear on a non-high performance house at framing stage. Another stage of doing aero bear is once you've finished drywall and just before you do primer. Do not have any finishes, do not have any flooring, no doors, nothing. The best time, after drywall, do your dust cleanup, call us in. Then the majority of all our aero barrier jobs is done after the drywalling stage, just prior to the primer and painting stage. Now at this stage, you don't wanna have any flooring, any finishes, doors, you don't wanna have anything in except a nice, clean environment. Now the reason why we come in at this stage is because once the drywall is installed, you'll notice that the poly will also be damaged. Okay. So in these areas that are cut out, around the window edges, they're all cut out. Any poly that was intact, meant to hold any air from escaping or coming in, would have been damaged. So in order to repair the drywall in a non-destructive manner, aero bearer would be the perfect material to apply, and that's the best time to apply it. And lastly, when not to apply aero bearer is when you're missing any doors or windows or when all your penetrations have not yet been addressed, you have to make sure the house can be pressurized, meaning everything has to be intact, functioning and operational prior to calling us in. Okay, you're at final stage of construction. Everything's done, the house is clean, you're ready for final inspection. You do your blow door tests, you're not getting the numbers you want, you fail. Can aero bearer be done to the final stage? Yes, it can. That's the least desirable time to do it, but yes, it can be done. Now the difference of final stage and a drywall stage or a framing stage is that every square inch of the house has to be masked off. Now just imagine a uh, 3,000 square foot house, okay? Masking 3,000 square foot of horizontal surfaces, all your finishes, all your showers, your glass, your handrails, that will take not only days, but it takes thousands of dollars to do that. And in the end, you may have overspray here, you may have some residual sealant there. Imagine how much time that would take, imagine how much money that would take. So in order to avoid all that cleanup, all that unnecessary masking, try to schedule your jobs at drywall stage or at the framing stage. Now this next segment of the build is the most exciting for me because it involves something I'm passionate about. It's about air tightness. 
Now, if you haven't noticed, I've been wearing this Air Barrier apparel for the last 30, 40 episodes. And it's for reason for that, because I'm very heavily involved in this company. And to apply Aero Barrier to this house is gonna be one of the most exciting parts for me because I'm gonna try and aim to destroy the air tightness requirements that's prescribed. And I'm really excited to see how low we can get. Not only with Aero Barrier, but with all the practices and all the tips and techniques that we've been talking about up to date, Let's see how low we can get this house.